Remove the SD card. Remove the 8 screws from the back plate. Use a spudger, wedge it between the R1 bumper and back plate, then twist down the spine to release the clips. Undo the metal tape and remove the three screws from the metal shield. Remove the metal shield. Undo the battery. Remove the SSD screw. Remove the SSD. Take the metal shield off the old SSD and put it on the new SSD. Be sure the gap is facing north before installation of the new SSD. Install the new SSD. Insert the battery. You'll see the power LED flash when connected. Add the metal shield and screw it back in. Place the back plate on the steam deck and gently add pressure until you hear and feel the clips fasten. Install the eight back plate screws. Grab a thumb drive over eight gigs and head over to your PC. Links will be in the description. Open Rufus. Under the device area, make sure the thumb drive you inserted is selected. Click the select button and open the Steam Deck recovery image. Please understand this will delete the thumb drive. Back up anything important prior to doing this. Click start, click OK, click OK, let it run. This will take a while. It took me about 13 minutes. Plug the thumb drive into your dock. If you do not have a dock, get a USB-A to USB-C converter. Connect the converter to the thumb drive and put it in the USB-C port of the Steam Deck. Check the video description for a link. To boot from the USB, hold down the volume down button, then press the power button. When you hear the chime, let go of the volume down button. Select the thumb drive and press A. Run the icon that says Reimage Steam Deck. Click Proceed. When reimaging is finished, hit Proceed to reboot the Steam Deck. Congratulations! Your new hard drive is installed and ready to go. Thank you, Dor, for recommending this topic. Please like and subscribe if I helped you out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.